Hello there! On this video I'm going to show you how to decorate your digital planner stickers using the Procreate app and GoodNotes app. First, I want to show you how I organize my stickers. In Dropbox and OneDrive, I categorize the stickers by name and style. In OneDrive, I keep all the Clipper images that I collect from different websites. The stickers are organized by style and name. The first folder is all about banners. If you notice that some of your stickers are showing a blue box, like these ones, let the folder load for a couple of seconds. You will see all your stickers after they finish loading on the iPad. The second folder is for single leaves and flowers. I like keeping them in one folder as I can easily mix them together when I drag them from the cloud folder into the GoodNotes app. The third folder is for arrangements of flowers and frames. These are clipper images that already come as a bundle. I love using these patterns on my stickers. I can easily change a plain black sticker into something colorful and chic. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the stickers in the Procreate app. The first thing you need to do is select a square canvas. To make a split screen, gently press on the app that you want to use. Without lifting your finger, drag the app towards the top and move it towards the right or left side of the screen. Touch the sticker sheet and drag it into the Procreate canvas. To select a specific sticker, use the lasso tool to select the sticker that you are going to decorate. At the bottom of the screen, select the duplicate option. This will create a new layer. In the layers tool, you can delete the main sticker sheet or click the uncheck mark to hide it. I'm going to show you two ways to decorate this sticker. The first way is by using an image with patterns. Drag and drop the pattern into the canvas. Now, in the Layers tool, click on the sticker that you are going to decorate. Choose the Select option, click on the Pattern layer and select the Mask option. Your sticker will take the color of that pattern. To make a drop shadow, make sure to select the sticker in the layers. Now click on the arrow in the top of the screen and move the image around until you create the drop shadow that you like. The second way to decorate your sticker is with colors. Create a new layer on top of the sticker that you are going to decorate. Use the new layer to paint over the sticker. Click on the Adjustments tool to create a smooth transition between the colors. Once you are done decorating the sticker, go to the Layers tool and uncheck the white background. Save the image as PNG.
Going back to the Procreate app, I'm going to mix patterns and colors to make the black and white stickers stand out. I only want the blue pattern on the moon. I'm going to uncheck the pattern layer for a moment. Use the lasso tool to outline the shape of the moon. Make sure you're outlining the layer of the black and white sticker and not the layer of the pattern. After you finish outlining the shape with the lasso tool in the layers, click on the pattern layer. Make sure to check the small box on the right to see the pattern on the canvas and select the mask option. Use the lasso tool to outline the shape of the bat. Drag and drop the color from the top into the middle of the sticker. I'm outlining the bat with the lasso tool again to fill in the parts where the yellow color is missing. I'm going to use different brushes and colors to add more texture to the image. In the layers window, merge the layers down to move the sticker around the canvas. When the color is too simple for me, I use the patterns to give the plain sticker some texture. You pretty much have to play with the select and the mask options to decorate your stickers in the Procreate app.
To move only the handwriting and not the image, go to the lasso tool and uncheck the image option. I use the pen and the highlighter tool to add little details to my designs. The little details is what makes a big difference in any layout. To move both the handwriting and the images together, make sure to turn on the images and handwriting options in the lasso tool. Take your time to decorate your stickers. I don't have a specific way to decorate my planner, I just love mixing stickers, printables and the tools in the GoodNotes app to create beautiful designs. Here are some other layouts I created using the same stickers. For these pages, I only use the highlighter tool and different shades of colors to create nice effects on the images. Mm -hmm. 